so hello everyone as you know the multiple access protocol has three types random access protocol control access protocol and channelization let's discuss what is random access protocol in the random access protocol all the stations in the network have same priority means there is no master and no slave and there is no fixed time for sending data each station can send data when they have any data to send and there is no fixed sequence for sending data now when there is no fixed time for sending data and when there is no fixed sequence for sending data there is a possibility that it will lead to collision so the random access protocol specifies that how to detect collision and when there is collision in network so how to recover from collision let there are two types of random access protocols aloha and carrier sense multiple access aloha is further divided into two types pure aloha and slotted aloha the carrier sense multiple access is also divided into two types carrier sense multiple access with collision detection and carrier sense multiple access with collision avoidance let's discuss the pure aloha in the pure aloha the communication is totally dependent on the acknowledgement means that when station sends data it will wait for acknowledgement from the receiver in order to confirm the communication so when the acknowledgement is not received it means that there is a possibility that the, there is collision in network or there is also possibility that the packet is lost somewhere in network in the pure aloha each station can send data at whatever time they can send data when they want to send wait after sending data they will wait for some time and in that time they will wait for acknowledgement and if the station receives the acknowledgement within a specific time means that the communication is successful but if the acknowledgement is not received within a specific time it means that the transmission was unsuccessful so this is very important point in pure aloha the method is totally dependent on acknowledgement if the acknowledgement is received within a specific time means success and if not then the communication was unsuccessful as you can see in this figure there are four stations that wants to send data all these four stations are following pure aloha method you can see below there is a timeline in the first step station 1 sends data which is 1.1 3.1 means that it is a packet from station 3 2.1 and 4.1 right now you can see that there are four packets that are being transmitted by all four stations now if you notice okay then after the packet 1.2 2.2 the packet 4.2 and the packet 3.2 now if you notice in this figure the packet 1.2 2.1 3.1 and 4.1 are being transmitted during the same period of time means that these all packets are being transmitted at the same time in network and it will lead to collision and when there is collision in network means that all the packets are mixed up together and the packets are corrupted so when the receiver receives such packet it won't be able to understand what is the data in that packet so you can see that in this region 
it creates collision because these all packets are transmitted at the same time and packet 2.2 and 4.2 also creates collision so when there is collision in network the sender has to follow some procedure and how the station knows that there is collision so we just discussed that station waits for acknowledgement these packets are not being received by the receiver so receiver won't send any acknowledgement so sender knows that there is a possibility that there is a collision in network and when there is a collision in network so sender will follow some procedure so that collision can be avoided next time now let's discuss the flowchart for pure aloha in the first step the value of the k will be zero k means that number of attempts and the maximum attempts each station can take is 15 after that the sender will send frame and after sending frame the station will wait for some time so right now the station is waiting for 2 into propagation delay time in order to receive an acknowledgement if the acknowledgement is received means that the receiver has successfully received the frame but if the acknowledgement is not received in that case the sender has to send data again so how the sender will send data again so in that case the value of k will be incremented by 1 so in the initial stage the value of k was 0 but now it is incremented by 1 so it becomes 1 so k is increased by 1 after that we will check whether it is greater than k max or not because we know the value of the maximum attempt is 15 each station can take 15 attempts in our case right now the value of k is 1 which is obviously less than 15 so the sender will choose a random number between 0 to 2 raised to k minus 1 so we are getting number value of r is 0 to 2 raised to k minus 1 now what is the value of k value of k is 1 so it becomes 0 to 2 raised to 1 minus 1 so 0 2 1 so for r we are getting two numbers 0 and 1 from these two numbers sender will randomly select one number suppose right now the sender has select r equal to 1 so after that the sender will wait for r into tp time or r into t fr time so right now suppose the sender is waiting for 1 into propagation delay time so it will wait for that time and it will send the frame again suppose right now the sender is sending frame again and after sending the frame the sender will wait for acknowledgement if the acknowledgement is not received so the value of the k will be incremented why incremented because the acknowledgement is not received so sender knows that there is a collision in network so sender has to send the frame again and in order to send frame again the value of the k will be incremented by 1 so now it becomes 2 2 is obviously less than k max so value of r will be selected between 0 to 2 raised to k minus 1 which becomes 0 to 2 raised to 2 minus 1 means 0 to 3 so in this case we are getting the value of r that is 0 1 2 and 3 and from these four numbers sender will select randomly one number and it will wait for the tb time 
suppose right now the sender is selecting 3 so it will wait for 3 into propagation delay and after waiting for the 3 into propagation delay time it will send the frame again right and this waiting time is called tb which is called back of time okay so as you can see that there are four stations that needs to send the frame and as we are following the slotted aloha method the time is divided into slots each station can send frame in any slot but the only condition is that the station has to send frame in the starting of the slot only right so in the first step the station one is sending its frame in the second step two stations are sending frame at the same time now these two stations are sending frame at the same time after some time there will be collision in network right and how this station knows that there is collision in network so after sending the frame they are waiting for acknowledgement and obviously they will not receive the acknowledgement so when the acknowledgement is not received by these two devices they will know that there is collision in network and when there is a collision in network the station will wait for random number of slot so suppose station 2 will wait for randomly zero slot and station 3 will wait for randomly one number of slot station 2 will send frame in the next slot but station 3 isn't sending it will wait for one slot and after that it will send the frame in the next slot right so in the slotted aloha when in one slot more than two devices are sending packet and when there is collision they will wait for random amount of slot and after waiting for random amount of slot they will send the frame again so you can see station 1 and 4 are included in the collision right so when two stations are included in the collision they will wait for random number of slot and after waiting for random number of slot they will send the frame again the equation for throughput for pure aloha and slotted aloha can be seen here so for slotted aloha it can be given by s equal to g into e raised to minus g and for pure aloha it is g into e raised to minus 2g right now uh, you have to remember this equation the explanation of this equation will be covered in the another video so this is it for today's session if you have any doubt you can ask me in the comment section thank you so much